okay so now we'll start with the second method that is geometric increase method which is also called as logarithmic increase method or exponential growth method or uniform increase method okay so we'll write down few points before starting so in this method in this method the per decade percentage increase the per decade percentage increase or this percentage increase we call it as growth rate per decade growth rate is assumed to be constant it is assumed to be constant now this method is best suited for in this method is best suited for young and rapidly growing communities so if you take an example of pune or hyderabad or bangalore the population there is increasing rapidly so if you want to estimate the population in such communities then you can use this method now we have seen in the growth curve that we have to use the geometric increase method when the population is increasing exponentially that is rate of change of population is directly proportional to the p so same thing we have to use it here so the rate of change of population is proportional to p so if we remove this proportionality sign what we will get dp by dt is equal to k into p then we can write it as dp is equal to k p dt or we can just keep it like this only that is dp divided by dt is equal to instead of this k what we will take we'll take here r because k we have taken it in the previous arithmetic increase method so here we'll take r constant so r into p now integrating it on both sides so what we'll do now we'll shift this p here and t on the right hand side that is integration of dp by p is equal to integration of r dt now integration of 1 by x dx is log x here the limits i have not given we'll take the limits also p0 to pn and this is t0 to tn initial time to final time initial population to population after n years initial time to final time so this will give us log p the limits are pn and p0 and this will be r into t and tn and t0 so this will be log pn minus p0 so log pn minus log p0 that means log a minus log b we can write it as log a by b so it will be log pn by p0 is equal to r into tn minus t0 so we can write it like this pn by p0 is equal to e to the power r tn minus t0 so pn is equal to p0 into e to the power r tn minus t0 and 
this is the formula to find out the population after n years okay now you have to remember here one point that this formula is used when r value is given directly in problem if r value is given then you use this formula a if the r value is not given then which formula you have to use then you have to use the second formula that is pn is equal to p not into 1 plus r bar by 100 whole to the power n when r value is not given directly in question we'll see what is that r value it is growth rate let's say if it is given then we will use the formula a if it is not given we'll use the formula b now in this what is this r bar so this r bar is called as geometric mean it is called as geometric mean and it is calculated as r bar is equal to r1 into r2 into r3 and so on rn whole to the power 1 by n so this is how you calculate the r bar value now what is this r1 r2 and r3 so this r we can calculate by using the formula increase in population increase in population divided by initial population or original population increase in population by original population so for each decade there will be some increase in population so for knowing each decade r1 r2 r3 and so on up to rn we can find it out and then the average value of r can be found out by using geometric mean that is r bar is equal to r1 into r2 into r3 so on rn whole to the power 1 by n so if r value is not given then we have to use the second formula in this r bar is equal to r1 into r2 so on r1 whole to the power 1 by n where each value r we have to find it out by using this formula that is increase in population by original population this will get more clear when we solve problems right now you just remember this is the second method growth geometric increase method and in this what is constant per decade per decade percentage increase is assumed to be constant and then these are the two formulas in this if r value is directly given in the problem use the first formula if it is not given use the second formula